and Bushcraft Boy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a review of the new Bobin's Folding Wood Stove. Stay tuned. video we'll have a look at this the Rubens folding firewood stove we'll have a good look at the stove whilst it's still unused and clean then we'll light it up and see how well it works to start off with let's see what's inside the box like all Rubens equipment the first thing you find is this black protective carrying bag it has a couple of carrying handles and zips. There's not really much I can say about it. It's a bag. What matters is what's inside it. So let's open it up and find out. At last, we get to the bit we're actually interested in. The stove itself. The more perceptive of you will have noticed it folds flat. It's not the flattest folding stove on the market, but it's not actually too bad. Flat packed, this stove measures 27 centimetres by 21 centimetres and is 4.1 centimetres thick. What you'll immediately notice though is the weight. At over two and a half kilograms, it's a lot heavier than I expected. Looking at the steel more closely, I can see that it is quite thick. It's not the flimsy stuff you get when you buy those cheap Chinese knockoffs, and that's where it gets its strength. So let's set it up. It really couldn't be any easier. Using the carrying handles on each side of the stove, pull the front and back sections of the stove away from each other. The sides are hinged and simply pop into place. Then, remove the cooking grill and ash plate. The remaining grill is also hinged and folds down to rest on a hatch on either side. The thing that surprised me when I first saw this stove was how thick this grill is. It's really heavy duty. That means it won't bend or warp when it gets hot and it holds the stove firmly in shape. When you remember the thick metal sides I mentioned earlier, you can understand how it really does make a very sturdy stove. Then you just pop the ash plate in the bottom and the grill on top and you're good to go. It's so strong it will even take the weight of this Dutch oven. I just hope the table will. And if you're thinking, ah, it's empty. Not anymore. Off the top of my head, I can't think of another folding stove. I'd be willing to risk about 10 kilograms of cast iron Dutch oven sitting on it. So, looking more closely at the cooking grill, you'll find it has two handles, one on each side. These sit on top of the grill and hold the sorry, I mean they sit on the top of the stove and hold the grill up. The grill's also stronger than I expected. It would be quite I'd be quite happy to sit a heavy pot on there. As you look more closely at it, you see the gaps between the bars are really narrow. No danger of sausages falling through. At about 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres. You should be able to get half a dozen sausages or four burgers on it at the same time. So let's fire it up and get it dirty. To put fuel in, just open this door. It'll burn wood, but it's just as happy with charcoal. If the bits of wood you're using are too big, 
just leave the door open and feed them in as they burn. Now it's lit, you can see that air gets drawn in from these holes round the bottom. It gives off plenty of heat. Some camping sites may not let you use this stove without some type of stand. Many campsites insist that fires are raised off the ground for safety reasons as well as to protect the grass. Although there's a gap between the grill and the ground, it isn't quite big enough to be safe. Ideally, I'd like to see a set of folding legs added. I know that it would mean adding even more weight, but as it is at the moment, I wouldn't want to sit this on the ground because it would scorch it. So this is a big shout out to Simon Outdoors for making this excellent horseshoe trivet for us. We normally sit it in the fire to cook on, but it now lets us use this stove anywhere we want. A big solid trivet like this one isn't the best option for a backpack though, in which case you could use a folding grill. Robins do make a folding grill, but I have to say, I haven't seen one up close, so I couldn't say if it's strong enough. The grilly put fo folding campfire grill could be another option on hard ground. It's compact and lightweight. It does have very thin legs though, so on soft ground there is a risk of it sinking into soil and possibly even tipping the stove off if you're very unlucky. So, what do I think of the Robins folding stove? I think it's a brilliant design. Yes, it could do with some legs, and yes, it's a bit heavy, but that's because it's not made with cheap bits of thin steel. It's thicker steel, so it will cope with the heat of a fire. Even the higher temperatures of a charcoal fire won't buckle the stove. The overall impression you're left with is that this is a solid, reliable stove that's been built to last. More importantly for me, it's strong enough to take the bangs and knocks camping stoves get. For a little camping stove to easily take the weight of a full-sized Dutch oven, with a smaller Petromax FT1 Dutch oven then put inside, is just crazy strong. That was more than 10 kilograms of cast iron. That was more than enough to flatten some stoves, but this one didn't even seem to flex out of shape. It's a great bit of kit, and despite the weight, I can see this becoming our regular stove. So that's everything. I hope you found this review helpful. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Bushcraft Boy. thank you for watching, and please do not forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye!